Do you think that you're doing Wing Chun right this whole entire time? That's a very good question to ask ourselves, right? So sometimes we do the technique without, without understanding how the structure and the position work because we're just doing it for the technique or the drilling purpose. But understanding the structure and the position is actually very, very important. My instructor, Steve Francis, has always been emphasized on the body structure and the mechanic. Then we can take that technique to apply into resistance training. Either you can talk about Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, or like even kickboxing. But you first have to understand how your body works before you can actually move on to apply the technique. Otherwise, you take that piece of technique that you have no understanding and no mechanic and you don't know what to do with this and all of a sudden you say oh, I'm gonna take this technique from what I learned from Wing Chun and I'm just trying to apply into application is that how it actually work I don't know recently I have stumbled upon a conversation with Annie and Annie is great when it comes to conversation like this not only she's a great personal trainer but she understands the body so well and especially that she's been helping some of the students from the Academy to understand the body mechanic and fitness she actually studied a little bit Wing Chun with us. So now she's relating all that Wing Chun structure into fitness level. So today I wanna to share with you guys the conversation that we had using Wing Chun stance mechanic and we're gonna relate all this into a body energy work and just see truly, have you been doing Wing Chun right this whole time? Or is it just, I'm simply just doing it because my instructor told me to do so. And it's gonna be a very interesting conversation. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hold it, pinch your shoulder. Good, pull your ribcage down. Yeah. So no hollow. Yep. This ties in, think of that up there. Think of a string tied in from your shoulder blade to your abs. Good, square up with me. Good. Sit with stronger in your tongue, Sally. Mm -hmm. Bring that elbow in a little bit. Drop the shoulder. Elbow in. Sink into your core. My whole weight is on you right now. Mm. Mm. Feel it. Elbow in, elbow in. Drop that shoulder. Yes, elbow in. Condition, core, 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 core. Mm. Three. Good. So when he does that, mm. what's, in, what's engaging the muscle with him? So it's, it's, if you want to speak like anatomically what's engaging, it's mid-low trapezius, uh -huh. which is back here. And he's going into his deep core, so he's transferring his energy by keeping his shoulder down and in. He's going to transfer that all the way through his body, that activation, all the way through here into the core. So you can't hollow out. You've got to connect where my hands are, mm. those two, right? And then that's when your forms come in, when, mm. you know, elbows in, shoulders down, that's, and that's where a lot of energy is, mm. right? So you're connecting through here. So it's core and mid low trap essentially. And then there's what we call serratus, which pulls your shoulder blade down. So there's a lot of different muscles activating, but it's a lot more energy work, energy work, and then like your mind body connecting to those muscles and feeling that. Because all what you guys do is everything through the midline. Yeah? Mm, yeah. So you want it. So if everything's through the midline and you keep the space further and further away from your own body, mm. like you've lost all your energy through here. So mm. everything's gotta stay tight and in. So you're, again, I don't know which one, right? But so you're in. So if you actually go and I'm here, mm. my intention is to mm. energy through here versus right. Do you see the difference? Yeah. I can breathe harder. Mm. There's no intention through here. Yeah. If I yeah. You almost can feel the energy without me touching you. You're sinking at the same time too, right? Yes. Oh. And that's that breath work that you work with, right? So every time you do your forms, go back into your stance. All right, so Mike's gonna do the form again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna be behind the camera today. That's good. Elbows in. You get to experience this. Shoulders down. Sink, sink, sink. Energy, forward, energy, forward, energy, forward. So not your hips, core. Yep, so if I were to come towards you, there you go. A lot of energy coming towards you. Now go. Elbow in, elbow in, elbow in, elbow in, elbow in. So his is a little bit too much. There! Breathe. Shoulder down. Shoulder down. Don't let me move. All right, so let me help you. See how, see how quick that was for me to move you? Bench here. Oh. 
popcorn. See the difference? Yeah. It's not empty anymore. Mmm. So what, so what changed over there? To your point, so him sinking. sinking. Him pulling his shoulder. When you sink, that's you guys getting all your muscles to work together to really bring that energy to the midline in the core, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what sinking is. Sinking doesn't mean, it doesn't mean hollow out. It doesn't mean sink this way. Mm -hmm. It means get all your muscles Wait. to lock in. So you'll feel the difference. If you put your hand here, right? Uh huh. Put your hand here, breathe in, breathe out, but protect that core, okay? So breathe in. There's no breath there. <laughs> I asked Mike to breathe and he didn't Come on, Mike. Breathe. Just... Ready? Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yes, way more solid. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, now go this side. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is his weaker side. Mm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, I can feel myself moving more. Yeah, this one he's not breathing as much. Mm. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can feel it, right? Mm. Where it's not connecting. Right, right, right. So when you do your breath work, that's what you're looking for is that connection. Mm. Like, is my breath connecting with all the muscles working together? and sinking and it, you'll feel a sense of uh, calm when you do it as well. Mm. So that's when Sifu says like don't use muscle, mm. right? When you don't use muscle, there's a sense of calming that comes with your breath. So you breathe in, 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 and then breathe out. That there's a calming where you feel still, like you feel grounded, mm. okay? So that's what you gotta work on when you breathe. <laughs> yeah, I want to test out too because you brought up a very interesting point when you do the form. Mm -hmm. You're sinking, but a lot of people do it this. Yes. Right? Yes. And like I said, so the difference is when you sink. So go into your form. So if I'm doing my form. Okay, so it's fix yeah. This. So you're saying. So you already have down. a very short breath, right? I can see because your rib cage is up here. Uh huh. I'm just going to put my hand here. Okay. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Bring your shoulders back in this position. Take a deep breath from me. Breathe out. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Now go into your hands. So same thing here. Take the breath. Breathe. So. Breathe in. Breathe out. Every time you move, do it again. Take a deep breath. Okay, so when you come out, uh -huh. breathe out. Breathe in. Uh. Breathe in. Out. When you breathe in, pull back. Pull back. Breathe it in. Rip cage down, rip cage down. No, oh, rip cage down. Breathe in. Read up. Good. Wow. Tingling. Yeah, that's energy. Wow. That's energy work. So when people talk about energy work, that's you actually bringing oxygen, blood flow into that system. People will feel that on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. That's the difference. So every time you move and you breathe, mm -hmm. you're trying to connect your breath with your movement so that it's more intentional, right? So the there's more energy coming through that midline. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so you're it's not, not just, just doing this. Yeah, you're not yeah. just going up. And that's why people go up here and they lift the shoulder to do something, mm -hmm. right? Because there's no breath work. There's no real core work being done. There's no real intention with the body sinking, right? So when people do that, they do sink. You say sink and they go, yes. it's empty. Yes, because they just do this. Yep. Yes, so you want to just breathe through that, right? So if you're here, uh -huh. so we'll have you sink. Sink? Okay, okay so sink. Like. You're sinking. Your whole posture's off, so I can just 
throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do that again. Go back into your form. So here. Mm -hmm. Get this connected. Get this connected. Take the breath out of your chest, Kevin. Yes. Oh. Breath is here. That's that looks like magic. Huh? When I went like this and like this. Oh, sorry. This okay. Right. That's interesting. <laughs> right. Now I feel stronger in the core. Yes. And my chest is light. Yes. There's nothing so here. Then you can move oh. your arms. Yes. Right. So now oh. take the breath here out. Sink here. Mm -hmm. That's sinking. Now do your forms. Oh, that's different. Breathe. See a different sink here, though. Yeah, I feel you more feel, here. Yeah, versus That's like just hollow neck. Because a lot of times, like the guys will tell you to do this. They'll try to curl your hip all the way up. Sure. Yeah. And I think, by no fault mm -hmm. of any type of teaching, uh -huh. I think that was taught because anatomically that may have not been taught in martial arts. Mm. And so when you see a dysfunction, and a lot of trainers do this too, mm -hmm. when you see a dysfunction and someone standing like this. Sometimes if you don't know muscle-wise what's going on, mm -hmm. your version of coaching and teaching is to say, well, let me tuck you. Uh, Does that make sense? So it's not a necessarily, let me tuck. Yeah, okay. it's not necessarily a fault of anybody's teachings. Uh -huh. It's a matter of understanding what muscles create this movement and this movement, Okay. right? But any position, you want to find your, what we call your neutral. So mm -hmm. you don't want to be in this position and you don't want to be fully in this position. Because mm -hmm. if you're fully in this position, you lose all core strength. Correct. Right? right, but if I'm stuck in this position, I'm gonna train the muscles to find that what we call the, the center. Uh huh. Right, so you feel the strongest. Mm -hmm. But that's why you have to condition. You have to condition your breath to connect with the muscle. You have to condition your mind to do things differently. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you have to um, understand a little bit more why the teachings were the way they were. Right. That so makes again, sense. it's no fault of any instructor, any teacher ever. They're just trying to help the individual get a better connection with the body but sometimes they don't really know what the muscles are to that that's that's a difference so when you're going to even just if doing the basic stance doing this mm -hmm. we still talk about toes are pointing slatted in right mm -hmm. but the difference is you instead of just doing this when it's sink you're really emphasize on this empty yes. the chest yes so there's nothing here this is empty everything's here again go to your stance so if i was just going my stance this is so, so bad. So yeah, so retrain and use your muscles into the stance. Oh. Yeah, retrain yourself to what you've learned. Keep what you've learned. Add all the new things that work for you to keep you stronger. Well, that's different. Now that stands, I can feel this and the group engaging. Yeah, I like it. Because earlier you mentioned on the mic, you're doing everything with intention, including yes. when your hand goes out. Yes. Right? So, so your intention Why is, else are you doing the forms? Yeah. It's not just for positions. But right. there's intention behind it. There's intention behind it. Why else are you practicing your forms? The forms are actually very healing. The forms are very good for meditation. The forms are very good for body conditioning, for mind conditioning. Mm -hmm. So when you do your forms, if you do it with intention and you ground yourself, let's say you do it with barefoot, right? And you put it into the into the earth, yeah. you can feel all these vibrations and this energy in your body. And it's a very different feeling, oh, right? Because there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. The more you do that, mm -hmm. that's what we call conditioning. It's not how many reps you can do, it's how many reps you can do with quality and intention. Quality and intention with the reps, that's interesting. Yes, I, not I like quantity. I don't care how long you can go, as long as you can do it correctly. Mm -hmm. Right? So everyone talks about form. Everybody's yeah. form is different too. Yeah. Right? Even in physical condition, we do form. A squat is not a squat until you squat with me. I always tell people that. Right? I don't care if you could do four, five, six, or twelve. Uh -huh. I need you to do it correctly, but with intention. intention. So I always tell people that. When you squat, what muscles are you using? Most people can't answer that question. Yeah. The primary muscles in a squat are glutes and quads. If you're squatting and you can't actually fill your glutes and quads, mm -hmm. condition yourself to do that. Uh, Same thing with forms in martial arts. Right? Yeah. 
Same thing with forms in martial arts. When you do your forms, you do it with intention. With intention. Know but what you're doing. What is the purpose of a bong sao? Deflect energy. Okay. Yeah. Purpose of bong sao, deflect energy. Okay. Uh -huh. So go into your bong sao. Okay. And if it's an empty bong sao. Empty bong sao. You're not deflecting anything. It's true. So you're not even absorbing it. Yeah. You're not even giving me energy. Interesting. So if you do your forms like that, uh -huh. there's no energy behind it. There's no deflection. Now do it with intention. So now I do think this, engaging. Oh. So now this connection. Yes. Versus just doing position. Yes. Or limbo. Again, that was my time to off. Oh. So if I wasn't here, uh -huh. do your forms again. How did you do your forms before this? Imagination. <laughs> right. Okay. And you can still you can still use your imagination if someone's in front of you. Yeah. Right? So what's the purpose of a tansa? Deflection. Deflect. So let's condition that. Yes. So I'm not gonna yep. Bring your elbow in a little more. Sink, 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 sink. So we gotta get you conditioned there. You know how oh. I can feel. Yeah. Yeah, I can so feel. Here. Now this side of your core has to work. Oh. So if I go here, uh -huh. this is going to ener pull energy through. This will deflect. Use that core. Elbow oh. in, elbow in. Ah. That's stronger. You felt that, right? But this look is it. a connection. I'm putting pressure on you. Oh wow. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a lot of this. Yes. It's transferred to here. Yes. That's so interesting. And you, and I don't know if you saw, I was on one leg doing it. I didn't see, I was focused on this. Yeah, I was on one leg doing it. Wow, so that's how energy transfer, because you, if your body alignment is correct, energy should transfer to the ground. Yes. Okay. But if your elbow's off. Yeah, my elbow's off. I can off. tell where your elbow's off. That's how you were able to push me off earlier. Yes. So interesting. Ideally, so when you ask about the breath work and all this, how it all works, and energy works, that's how energy works. Mm -hmm. Energy works by pulling everything together, your breath works together, your intention, your... All of it. We're going to keep talking about it over and over. Totally related to fitness, what you're doing too. As Absolutely. Well. So, same thing with fitness. The heavier the weight doesn't mean it's actually more on your joints. You should have conditioned your joints to get to that point. That's why we do a lot of body weight, a lot of tempo training. When you actually start to add more weight, mm -hmm. that's when the muscles start to really fire, uh, uh, fire up, and that's what we call breaking fibers. Okay. So, when I lift, I have the same intention of lifting a 10 pound kettlebell with a 200 pound kettlebell. Oh. My form stays exactly the same. So the intention, it's a key. Yeah. Even and when the breath. Okay. Yep. Wow. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Thank you. All yeah. right, guys. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you, guys.